an accused baby killer, an accused cop killer, and an accused serial rapist. Those are among the cases scheduled to be tried here in just the first 60 days of the new year. Paul Venema takes a look at the challenges of that ambitious lineup. This is the lineup for... In the next few weeks, things will really get busy here. Nurse Janine Jones, who has already served a life sentence for killing an infant in the 80s, is set for trial in another baby death case. The trial of Anton Harris, accused of being the medical center rapist, is also set for trial this month. And the DA is seeking the death penalty for Otis McCain. His trial is also on the docket, and that's just January. In February, Christopher Davila will go on trial in the King Baby J case. When we do have cases that stack up, it does present somewhat of a problem. It can create scheduling issues. Judges play nice with each other. We want to make sure that we work together as a group. But judges are only part of the equation. There's witnesses and lawyers. Typically with high profile cases, there's very few prosecutors that handle these cases. These cases. There's also very few defense attorneys that handle these cases. District Attorney Joe Gonzalez just wrapped up his first year in office. We intend to be ready on everything as it comes to, to trial. Admittedly, he says it's a challenge. Obviously, a, a challenge that we have in our office is, is we have to work within budget constraints. Uh, in a perfect world, I wish I had more prosecutors, I wish I had more investigators, but what we have to work with what we have. And what he has is a demanding January schedule that's subject to change. He's got to be flexible. There's nothing that's set in stone. Schedules are just that, schedules. They don't become reality until the first witness takes the stand. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.